準備をお願いしますいざのウィールオブフェイティーズタイムリベーワンアクションWith this infinite juggle nonsense, there ain't no way out of that. <laughs> I still got the poop emoji in here, at least this in this game. You get a poop emoji. Poop. <laughs> oh man, this game, I swear. This is actually a better game than BB Tag. Um, it's got its, it's got its issues, but it's alright. It's uh. His problems. <laughs> oh man, you're gonna see me go noob, 100% noob on this thing, like a uh, stylish noob. Let's see. Um, random. Diet DSP. That's what I got called by uh, somebody in. The FGC, they actually called me, compared me to uh, the SP, the salt level, you know, sodium's too high or whatever. Man, it's floaty lag. No. Yep, definitely, definitely some lag. Oh, dude. And a four bar connection at that, man. I'm being trolled here. I'm being trolled. Trolled. Oh, man. Oh. 
<laughs> that lag though, man. That lag. Lag switching, is what they call that. <clears throat> See this guy that got in. 231 matches. And with a serial number behind his name. Like some kind of criminal. Like a criminal gamer. Anybody who, who knows how to legit play legit without without lying about their connection and, and you know anybody want to join me up here with a legit legit fight none of this uh, lag switching garbage none of this modded controller map controller nonsense It's gonna be a rough one. Let's see. Switching son, he ain't got no four bar connection. Black switch. There it goes. The showing on Twitch, dude. Black switcher. Lag. Gotta have that lag in there to win. She ain't no good without it. Yep. Oh man. The lag switching is strong today. It is strong with these people. That's what I hate about Blaze Blue Villa. I really hate this game. It is like a uh, lag switcher wannabe haven, like a uh, map controller type deal, like a uh, freaking uh, freaking sweat fest, bunch of wannabes, bunch of wannabes. There ain't no way these guys are four bar. Somebody's doing something in this lobby. Four bar connection. Usually when I come in here, you got the uh, boosted. It's boosted though. He says four four bar. Nah, this, this ain't legit. This somebody's doing something in this lobby. But yeah, it's usually like three bars, two bars, zero bars. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Not with those lag issues going on in the uh, the matches, there ain't no way that's, that's a legit four bar. Somebody's doing something. I was gonna like uh, show you guys like like it, I'm so rusty. I should you know I should even attempted it, but like I can actually. Uh, do decent, like, uh, cancel, here, 
but um, this is this the game is not. There's 11 people in this lobby. <laughs> this is about a ghost town. Um, the everybody's playing BB Tech is like it's supposed to be the, the next greatest. Uh, Greatest game as so far as it is a uh, there's a three bar. I believe that over a four bar any day. Four bar connection. Bunch of bunch of fake that's going on. Uh, Hakuman. Usually only people who know what they're doing you choose him. So it'll be interesting. matches in so he's uh he's got some time in with it or she or whoever stuff. I don't know why I get myself in the corner all the time. Game is real. I fell right into that one. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm noticing some lag. All right, cool. Yeah, it took a while for me to break that, so yeah, there's some lag in there. Perfect. You know, give him, I give him the credit, because like, he had his, that's like, uh, straight up, uh, legit combos right there, man. He knew what he was doing, so, lag or not, it's just, just what it is. See, I'm not always salty. Not always salty. Hakuman is one of the more technical characters in the uh, Blaze Blue game. Very uh, challenging to master, and uh, let's see. Uh, don't want to cheese him too. Stop. I'm gonna go Hakuman. I'm gonna go legit this time. Uh, USA colors. <laughs> now my Hakuman is nowhere near on level with this dude's, like, um, or dudettes. Like mine's like, uh, very basic, but I know him a little bit. Man, the 
lag is getting in there though. Good call on that one. Yeah, the lag's getting a little strong. I don't know. Yeah, I'm beginning to second doubt this person's credibility. Yeah, he's just mashing on things out like it's like he's got it on a map's controller or something. Uh, but that lag, yeah, that lag was intentional. It was, it was bad. Gonna have to pass on this dude. Um, I went to play legit. I went to play legit, and then he just, just crapped all over it. <sighs> yeah. But that's 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 one problem with these Blaze Blue games, like these. These anime fighters, like it, it's the worst community, like worst fighting game community ever, like the absolute worst garbage, like toxic. And I'm not talking about just like spewing verbal abuse or or being salty or anything like that. I'm t I'm, t I'm talking about like uh, like like cheating, like lag switching, like trolling, like you you even see teabagging in fighting games nowadays. Uh, you know, teabagging used to be like a uh, first-person shooter type deal, and here you got it like happening here. But uh, it's just toxic community. Like Blaze Blues has been one of the worst for me. Like even in BB Tag, it was bad. And the net code for some reason in BB uh, Blaze Blue, I keep on saying BB Tag or whatever, but Blaze Blue has always been worse than what's in Guilty Gear. Like, Guilty Gears is fairly smooth. Like, it is usually consistently smooth, even when the frame rate, you know, hits, hits the medium to high points. It's decent when it, you know, hits at, you know, frames, you know, higher frames. But, but the, uh, here, like, Blaze Blue, I don't know if a different team, if, it, like, it's got a different net code than Guilty Gear or what it is. But yeah, this is uh, this is the guy, one of the uh, worst net codes in the fighting game uh, library for sure. Um, I don't even know. I don't know if it's due to region difference or whatever. But like, that's another thing. That's another thing I hate about these fighting games. I I picked the North American region lobby. There should not be that big a difference in connection quality, but what you get is people going from different countries, you know, different countries into the uh, North American, or North American people going into the uh, Asian lobbies, and it, it it's just, I don't, I don't understand why people do it, like, it's conflicting, like, people should only be allowed to go to uh, the region lobbies they are from. You know to make it fair on the players like if you if you're like a North American player you go into the Japanese lobbies and blaze blue or guilty gear they're not gonna play with you they know your connection the connection between you and them is gonna be crap they're not gonna play you know uh, blaze blue with you they're not gonna play uh, guilty gear with you and it's you know rightfully so I mean who wants to play a laggy uh, match against someone it's it's not fun it's uh it's a uh, bad deal, and uh, I, I just don't know. Fighting games for uh, me have there have, hasn't been one that I've really been wanted to dedicate my time to in like years. Like the last one I spent time on was Injustice 2, and it's that code. It was hit or miss online, but mostly because of players. Players. You could tell when they were lag switching because little indicator, little shock indicator at the uh, bottom of the uh, screen would come up. The, the, it would be horrendous. Like it would be intentional. It'd be like when you're jumping at them or something, and you notice it was it had intent behind it. And it would just something lag affected both players. It was like one-sided lag, and uh, but it was tolerable. I mean, you had your characters that 
you know, the whole roster had their ways around, uh, you know, the nonsense, the zoning or whatever. You know, the heavy zoning characters. They had their ways in. They had their ways out. Uh, you had the roles that could get you, you know, halfway across the screen, you know, the other player's face, you know, past the projectiles or whatever. Uh, you had your cheap characters, of course, but there were ways around it. And it's something akin to, like, uh, Call of Duty with the trip mines. Like, the trip mines, even in a laggy situation, you can plant those trip mines and guarantee, like, if you set them right, in the right place, you're going to get somebody. You're going to... So I go and run across that trip mine, it's going to get them, and it gives you a fighting chance. And, and games like this, where the roster is, like, so unbalanced. You got your, like, bullet hells, like, uh, Mew, Nyu, uh, these, these characters that are pure, like, bullet hell nonsense. And you got these, these, these more melee-centric characters, and there's not easy ways in, and it's a lot of characters disappearing, you know, from frame to frame, like you saw with the that, what's that character's name? I can't even remember her name, the witch one. But, uh, got characters literally going invisible and, you know, reappearing frames later. Uh, all kinds of crazy nonsense that throws the balance of the game off kilter. It's like, uh, it's so far unbalanced that it's, that you'll see, like, only a certain number of characters out of the roster. And this has got a big roster. This, this Blaze Blue's got a big roster. You only see a number, a small number of those characters used online, and you know it's obvious why because they are the go-to, guaranteed win characters, the ones that are gonna almost always guarantee you that win if you use and abuse them. And uh, it's just uh, I, I I can't find like a a fighter I want to get into like I I bought. I uh, well I didn't buy BB tag but I uh, reviewed that. And, you know, gave my uh, negative review on that for for various reasons. But uh, BB B tag is garbage. It's just not a uh, true testament of skill. It it's just like a joke. It's like uh, a way to make money. And these these uh, these kids these kids are buying into the hype. They they think oh it makes me look cool, but am I actually cool because I got got all these uh mechanics handed to me freely that you know in older games pro players would have had to work towards to figure out and whatever these auto combos these you know easy to use and abuse mechanics uh you know pro tier stuff is turning scrubs into pros and uh where where are the pros at if the scrubs are just as good as pros you know it's like it's like begs to be asked i mean it, I mean, I just don't know that I don't like BB Tag. I don't like that kind of game that sacrifices competitive value. You, you, you can see, like, I'm a scrub in this game. I'm, I'm an absolute scrub. Like, I, I, I use stylish. and Except for with Hakuman, I can do a little technical with him. But, you know, I I would vouch... You know, I would go to bat for the, the true pro players. Uh, I would say, like... Don't dumb down a fighting game to appease like a crowd that do not appreciate learning a game's mechanics just to get the money. That's all they're doing. They're just doing it to get that extra money from the casual crowd. It's like an oxymoron, casually competitive. It's it's, it's, it's you know it's just a lie. It's just as far as it's like they're selling those kids a lie. They're selling them a look good, feel good game. Where they can look cool, but they didn't really earn it. They they, they just they just got it handed it to them. You know, it's just like uh, here, you can look good for free. Uh, pay me money for the DLC. You know, that kind of rhymed. I like that. Actually, like that. Uh, you know, but uh, it's ridiculous. I I just don't even know about fighting games anymore. I think I think if it continues down this road of being, you know, casual, more casual than competitive, and where mechanics are dumbed down to appease to a casual crowd instead of a competitive crowd, finding games are doomed. They're, they're just lost. Lost to history. There uh, has been genre uh, gone forever. 
not what it was. Might as well be a mobile game where you just sit there and tap a button, just a single button, and do everything like just like pro level combos and stuff. Just, just tap a single button and you hammer it out, and and you just get or or just pay to win. You know, literally, you just you just pay pay for DLC that allows you an instant win, like like an like a choreographed like match like you against some pro like you, you, you pay like for example you pay for the Daigo DLC and and, and you get to, you get to look like you're playing against like Daigo the Beast Yumihara and you're but you're not really it's just a clone of him and, and you get to beat him like for the world to see but it's really not you playing either it's just like a you know scripted sort of uh match like automated match or something and you pay like 99.99 for the Daigo DLC and you just let it play out and you share it with all your friends oh look I'm pro tier I beat Daigo man that's the, that's gonna be the uh, next evolution like, like mark my words some stupid like that's gonna come along it's like instant win DLC instant win against your opponent you know just just you, you pay for it and you get this little uh, voucher and you go in and you like uh, cash it in you know pre-match and then the the other player is just a rendered into a uh, AI that pretends to play but like lets you get in hits or something like enough hits to win it's like uh, ridiculous it's like uh, it's, it's gonna uh <laughs> it's gonna come to that one day, I guarantee you. It's just it's just gonna be pure casual. It's gonna be like uh, look, you know, look good, feel good, uh, fighting games. It's what it's gonna be like. Uh, I don't even know anymore. But uh, yeah, this is uh, one of those rants going going nowhere. But anyways. Dead on Arrival 6. Yeah, that game is doomed. Still looking forward to Soul Calibur. I think, uh, I think they're at uh, Soul Calibur 6 now, I think. Or, I don't know if it's 6 or 5. But the new Soul Calibur looks good. I hope they do not make the mechanics like crap. Um, hopefully they do something competent. Something good. But, uh, I don't even know anymore. Even Bandai, uh, could mess it up. No one, no, no other way, uh, these companies are reaching out to the casual side of gaming. You never know. Could have, like, a one-button trick in there, sort of like a, uh, insta-parry or something. It does look like it has parries in there of some sort. Sort of a, uh, pow that, uh, gives you a boosts or something. We'll have to see. Uh, I'll probably uh, buy it on a gamble. Uh, see if I uh, give them a chance. See if it's good. Uh, definitely not get DOA 6. That game's... Yeah, that game wrote... That's, that's uh, bad business. Anyways, you got to see me just talk along, spiel about... Uh, fighting games and where it's gone and where's it where it's at and didn't get to see me play much but you got to see my little avatar my little devil avatar over there sitting at the uh the kiosk by his lonesome waiting for a challenger you got to see that you got to see me get beat by some uh questionable players so there's that um well at least at least this thing amounted to something I guess I mean at least at least I got to say some things uh didn't have any viewers as it were uh, everybody's off doing their weekend things I'll upload it to YouTube though everybody can watch it there watch me ramble on diet DSP <laughs> of the fighting game industry <laughs> fighting game community diet DSP uh talking logic but salty as the uh, Dead Sea, as it were. 
<laughs> you know, in a way, I can, I can see how I earned that uh, thing. I complain a lot about it, but like, I complain to a side where I argue for the competitive value of things and how things are ruined due to certain aspects like net play and and mechanics being dumbed down and stuff but it's all legit you know com complaints it's just I know people get tired of it I know it's not something you want to hear but like then some then you got some of these trolls in here that are uh that are trying to bait it out of you and stuff and you know you give in sometimes so you let the world know how you feel and all that stuff but yeah fighting games they're doomed um gonna leave it on that note and you know take care enjoy your weekend see that dude from the UK down there UK and an American lobby that there is the problem region specific matchmaking is what this needs it's what Street Fighter 5 needs you know what Capcom did, did before I uh, close this thing Capcom actually let players have region anonymity like when you si first sign in to Street Fighter 5 you can actually choose your region flag out of all the flags of the world and even the uh, Street Fighter flag you can choose it to hide from where you're really at and on top of that they took away Ultra Street Fighter 4's region lobby matchmaking options why would they do that because they know that people don't want to play with uh, people with you know from different countries because of the lag they want but they they for some backwards reason they think that having more of a community you know actively playing is gonna help you know the game's popularity or reputation but when when online is as bad as uh, Street Fighter 5 that thing just hurts it hurts the uh, reputation that game is garbage online I have to tell you that game is garbage I don't care if you're if you choose the uh, PS4 to PC option or the PS4 to PS4 option the uh, lag between countries whether legit or not uh, it's a problem it's a huge problem there should be region uh, base lobby matchmaking options and there should be uh, no no player should be able to hide which region they're from there should be no no none of that this is just uh, legit you, you can you know go if you're in this region you can match make in this region that's what it needs that's what fighting games need they need none of this clashing connections from different countries none of that none of it I don't care if it like divides the community or whatever it will make the experience much better much smoother much more tolerable but uh yeah <sighs> fighting games the thorn in my side as it were um, I'll talk to everyone later take care